I don't know. I guess I'm just kind of worried that you know some company's gonna crack this artificial personality thing, and you know then people will prefer talking to their computer-generated friends instead of their real friends. You know, I, I already see it happening. Quick Theories is an intimate conversation between you and I about the future of technology and how it will impact our lives. I'm Q. Harrison Terry, and this is Quick Theories. I was just beginning to come around to the fact that robots are entering our workplace and now they've dropped something new on us, right? Robots are coming into our homes. Now, these robots aren't anything like Rosie the Robot and the Jetsons who cooked and cleaned. These home robots are more of a friend than a helping hand. That's why I like to refer to them as robot companions. Now, the most basic robot companions we have today are digital assistants such as Amazon Echo, Google Home, and Siri. And many people find them useful as hands-free search engines or to set reminders, but where they fall short is personality. Talking to Siri is like talking to a wall. Now, obtaining personality is the only way I think a digital assistant that we have today, like Siri or Alexa or Assistant, can evolve into a robot companion. Now, this is something that a product known as Jibo got right, essentially. So how did Jibo make the leap from digital assistant to robot companion? Believe it or not, it's all in the aesthetic design. In a way, Jibo is similar to the Pixar lamp. You know, in the opening of every Pixar movie, there's the lamp that jumps on the eye in Pixar. Well, Jibo is made of three separate shifting components, which mimic human shoulder positions. This makes it seem curious, attentive, and interested. And as a result, it feels like Jibo cares about what you have to say. Now, the interesting thing about Jibo is that they marketed it to families with kids. In their promo video, Jibo tells a little girl a bedtime story. What's more concerning, though, is that Jibo is the last thing she says goodnight to. Which led me to question, did they really advertise Jibo as a replacement to the quintessential parent-child interaction, the bedtime story? On the flip side, I understand that the parent might not always be there to say goodnight, so maybe Jibo is a nice way to ease a child to sleep, rather than falling asleep on your own. But I swear we're dancing on a fine line here, because... I'm concerned kids will become more obsessed with interacting with a program personality than a human. Now, what's crazy here is that in three years, 10% of Americans will have a robot in their home. So that's 2020. And I think this will continue to grow to 90% by 2030. So this is a small concern today that's quickly evolving into a big concern. To get a fresh perspective on this topic, ask my friend's thought on this question. How can we responsibly bring technology into our homes without creating a dungeon of solitude amongst kids? My parents gave my brother and I a lot of space to grow on our own. And that's why I believe it's a parent's job to help their kids find those environments where they can discover their own identities. Now, this might mean avoiding these program personalities altogether, or it might mean letting them hang out with Jibo all the time. I don't know. I guess it really depends on how it affects each individual kid's you know, personality and their social skills. Now, I would agree. Robot companions have great potential in eliminating friction around the house and providing entertaining and informative experiences, but they don't come without any side effects. Like any other evolutionary piece of technology, it's important that we find the balance between our human identity and the technology itself. As robot companions begin displaying human personalities in the coming decade, we must question their effect on our social selves. Thanks for watching this Quick Theories. If you enjoyed it and would like to be notified of future videos, hit the subscribe button below. Also, I realized that we just covered a pretty heavy topic and I'm sure you have some thoughts, so drop a comment below and I'll get back to you.